I am honored to be a part of this amazing women's conference. And I'm excited to connect with women from all over, but especially to take this stage of wisdom with our gracious host and some amazing esteemed panelists. So what I want you to do is get your tickets now, today. Go to itsherphilosophy.org slash I am, and you will be and still are amazing. Well, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, what a wonderful intro. I want to welcome you to uh, our conversation about the I Am Her conference that's coming up in July here in Jackson, Mississippi. My name is Zakia Summers, and I serve as state representative for House District 68. And I want to welcome and introduce the lady for the next 20 or so minutes, Ms. Makiba Cheney, who is the brains behind this amazing conference that we are so excited about bringing to Central Mississippi. Hello, Makiba. How are you? Hi, Representative Summers. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm so excited to have this conversation tonight to learn more about you and why you're doing this conference. And I just think it's so timely. Um, I, I, as state representative, do a Mother's Day observance event every year I have for the past three years. And this year we decided to do kind of like a um, pamper day. So we did makeup and massages and manicures and all that. But in my opening remarks, I wanted to let the women know just how important and how precious they are uh, to uh, their family, to their church, to their community. Uh, just them being who they are, they're so important. And the lesson that I gave them was, and I don't know anything about this game, but I just know that in chess, the queen is the most powerful position on the board because it can move anywhere it wants to and it can take whatever it wants, okay? And so I just wanted to tell the women just how, um, how powerful they should feel uh, within themselves to be able to do whatever it is that they put their mind to and whatever that is, God will provide the rest. And so I feel like this conference is, is kind of in the same vein. But Ms. Cheney, before we get talking about the conference, let's talk a little bit about you. Uh, tell us who you are. I know you're from Forest. I know that you're, you're married to a, a mighty man of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, which happens to be my frat, I must say. Um, you have your own business. You're an entrepreneur. You just got a lot going on. So just tell us about yourself. Yes. Um, little old country girl from Forest, Mississippi. I uh, was raised on a farm. My great grandfather, he had a farm. He raised chickens for, um, at that time, Ricardi Farms. But since then, they, they were bought out by Tyson Foods. So um, watching my grandfather work hard, do his thing to provide for my grandmother, um, who was a, a homemaker. Um, that's how I got my care for the elderly by helping care for her and my entrepreneurship from him. Um, since then, I went on to be a nurse. I went to Heinz Community College, got my LPN. Um, back in 2009, kind of got the vision that I should contract myself out as a re uh, private duty nurse myself, a respite nurse. Uh, that didn't go the way that I thought it should go. God had other plans. So that's when I got into the home care sector. Um, so we have a home care agency. And while in nursing school, of course, there were some hardships and there were some challenges. And I said, okay, God, if you give me a platform, I'm going to try to help everybody. So that's how the school came about, the um, certificate programs that we offer. So a lot of what I'm doing, uh, Representative Summers, is based off things that I've gone through. Um, hardships and challenges that I have gone through, you know, uh, from a child all the way up to a Hood, I've kind of like, okay, well, you know, I've gone through these things for a reason. So let me try to help someone else out. So that's pretty much how everything I'm doing. That's pretty much how I got started. And I, and I know that you have a testimony and I know that you have a personal story about 
how you turn your struggles into strengths, you know, mm -hmm. becoming an entrepreneur out of, you know, that you said that small farm uh, into building B1 nursing care. And now, you know, really establishing a platform for women to be able to excel too. So, you know, if you don't mind, just, just share your testimony, share your story. Um, absolutely. So, um, well, it's kind of, well, since childhood, you know, we've had, we all go through some things. I watched, you know, uh, my father, he was abusive to my mom. And um, it just so happened that I married someone who was, you know, when the my first marriage wasn't so perfect or whatever, um, gone through some things, got a divorce in 2013. Um, after the divorce, I hit rock bottom. And when I say that I hit rock bottom, I hit rock bottom. Um, the house was then going into foreclosure, cars was going for repossession. I didn't even have food in the house to feed my children. Um, we had to go to the neighborhood picnic to get food. And that is something that I'm not embarrassed of because, you know, we, I turned that pain into, you know, that part that pain will push you into your purpose. And that's pretty much what happened. So, you know, when I was at rock bottom, that's where God came and met me. And I call that the character building phase. I was going through a character building phase. And so, um, you know, after that, I um, I got a job. I was fired from my job, by the way, uh, from this company, this quality improvement organization um, company, which I thought I was doing so fantastic in. But when my director at the time saw me on TV promoting my business, they said it was a conflict of interest. So I was fired. Um, everything that could have gone wrong during that time, it went wrong. And it seemed like it was just such a long time. It was like from 2013 all the way up to 2016. Um, and I'm like, God, when, when is the struggle going to be over? Got a job um, at an assisted living facility. After that, you know, it wasn't even a month after that, the VA called me and they said that, welcome, you know, we want you as a vendor. I had been done the paperwork. So the VA hospital, they were my first, um, the first, I guess, the federal government was my first vendor at that time. While well, I was their vendor at that time for my client, my home care clients. And from there, it's been going ever since. That is amazing. And, and we know we all have our own stories. And sometimes we have to go through, you know, different obstacles and barriers. But someone said, you know, whenever a door opens, God will allow, uh, when one door closes, God will allow another door to open. And I like what you said about turning your pain into purpose. And so, you know, in addition to your own business, now you've created this platform, I Am Her. And it has three principles that's associated with that hope encouragement and reassurance so tell us a little bit about uh your your platform why you chose those principles and and how those principles will be incorporated into the conference that's coming up absolutely um hope you know you often hear women um say different things it, whether it's personal whether it's in business they don't want to do something because they're afraid um actually they all tie in together um, why are you afraid? If God has given you a gift, you should ask God, how, how do you need to activate that gift? And I'm somewhat want to be that, that personal coach, you know, it's okay because I too have been there. I've been afraid. I've been, you know, well, I don't have this amount of money, so I can't do this. Yes, you can. If you know God, yes, you can. I started this business with my account in the negative. I had to work my behind off, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't going to be, you know, I was okay with that because I've watched my grand my grandfather work his, his butt off. So I mean, you just have to work hard to get to where you want to get to. You don't need all this money to start a business. You don't need to wait until something happens for you to publish a book. You don't have to wait until something happens to go back to school. Go ahead and do it now. Do it while you have the time, you know, why you know, that door has been open. Just go ahead and walk through it. So all of that kind of like, you know, it goes hand in hand. Let us provide you hope. Let us encourage you. Let us reassure you. 
Because like I said, you know, I've had the kitchen sink thrown at me, but I've managed to get through to get through things. And I didn't have all of the the support. I didn't, you know, I didn't have those persons that could tell me, oh, you can do this or, you know, you need to take this route. Everything that I've gone through has been like mostly trial and error. So now I'm able to get that and try to, you know, um, help other women. Yeah. And, and we know that women go through those kinds of things all the time. We often feel like, and it, and it sometimes it's just because we're women, you know, sometimes we feel like there's something that's been on our mind or something that's been put on our heart, but we have a little intimidation about moving forward with that because we think we're not qualified or we're not equipped to do it. You know, I kind of felt that way, you know, getting into politics when I was asked to run for state representative, I first said, no, I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I'm ready to do it. And my mentor told me, he said, you're ready. And I still felt some, you know, some fear, some trepidation about just go ahead and, and doing it. And then I realized, and, and it was really a conversation with my mother where I realized that if this is my purpose, that God is going to provide me with everything I need to fulfill it, particularly if my heart is in it. And I'm doing it for the right reason. And, and I'm doing it really to do his work for his people. So uh, so we continue to do the work. So I, I, I love everything that you said. So uh, when women come to this conference, what can they expect to get out of the I Am Her conference? Um, Representative Summers, we have some great panelists, some great speakers who are coming. Um, so I can assure you that they're going to be inspired and they're going to be very encouraged. When they leave out of there, they're going to do whatever it is that God has put into their heart to do. So, yes, I am expecting everyone in the house to be blessed, inspired and encouraged. Tell us about some of the uh, featured speakers and panelists. Okay, um, Dr. Um, or um, Pastor Deborah Morton, um, that's Bishop Hollis Morton's wife. She's a featured speaker. We have um, a dynamic speaker, Rashida Walker. I don't know if y'all heard her story, but she is a great speaker. We have Dr. Kiana White. She's a very um, professional development speaker. We have um, Reverend Vascola Stoney. She's an evangelist. She's a great speaker. And we have evangelist Cynthia James. She's the first lady of True Vine Baptist Church. And she's also a great speaker. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I, hey, I'm excited. This conference, I Am Her, the Women's Empowerment Conference is July 16th. That's right. July 16th. That's correct. July 16th at the Hilton Jackson. That's on County Line. Yes. And where can people go to get more information and to get registered? They can go to itsherphilosophy.org slash I am. Um, the tickets are there. All, any information you may need, any questions that need to be answered, you can go there. You can also email us at isherphilosophy at gmail.org. Or you can contact El Sheree Dean. She is um, my PR manager. You can contact her if you have any questions or need any additional information. And that website is right there at the bottom on the ticker. So please go to itsherphilosophy.org slash I am. Get more information. Get registered. We want to make sure we see your face in the building on July 16th. Get inspired. Be filled with hope. Uh, be filled with encouragement so you can go forth and do and do your purpose. Now, McKeep, let me ask you this. And, and um, I know our time is getting short. We're going to wrap up real soon. I know as part of your vision is to uh, really uh, expand and grow an inclusive future. Tell me, what does an inclusive future look like to you? Um, an inclusive future. I want what I want to do is that I want to build a tribe of women, um, women who can help other women and, you know, so forth. And so on. I want it to be a domino effect. You know, if I can provide the platform for you. OK, you go and grab other women and let's grow this thing together because we need to be empowered. We don't need to, come, you know, be succumb to the societal pressure. I mean, we just need to be great. And I think that we can be great together. 
I um, was having a conversation with uh, just a, a group of colleagues about, you know, some of the ills and issues that we've been facing in the city of Jackson, primarily with the violence that we've been experiencing, oh, you know, particularly with our young people. Um, and now we're seeing where women are being targeted by gun violence. I think perhaps in the last week, we've seen two young black women that have been killed um, due to a domestic situation. And I was just telling them, you know, if women could get together and really understand their position and their role in their families and in their communities and stand up we could cut a lot of this nonsense out because we know you're a wife, I'm a wife, I'm a mother of three sons, I know how these guys are. You know, once women put their foot down, you got to cut out this foolishness. That's right. So we can really turn them around from doing some of the, the, the silly things or the potentially dangerous things that they get involved in. Okay, by showing by showing them some love and showing them that somebody got their back, but they're gonna have to walk straight if you want to be with me. That's what I told my husband. I said, I said, look, man, I said, if you want to get with me, you can't be playing around. You're gonna have to work hard. And he put in the work, and we've been married almost seven years now. <laughs> I had to think about it. Um, and so I really see this conference as a, a step towards that. You know, uh, women make up majority of the population in the state of Mississippi. We're the strongest voting base uh, in the state of Mississippi and in any uh, political party. Women got to be strong. Women got to say, listen, this is what I'm going to tolerate. This is what I'm not going to tolerate. This is what I want for my future and be willing to go after that. And then if you need some help, if you need some assistance or some support, don't be afraid to ask for that. Because it's people like you, people like me, organizations like yours that are willing to help get them to, to where they want to go. That's right. That's right. It's all about bringing, bringing all of them together and let's work in together. Let's fight together. You know, we're all in this together. It's not a competition. It's not a competition at all. You know, Sara Lee and Nature Zone, they make the same thing, which is brilliant. So let's do this thing together. And that's the mission and that's the vision. Absolutely. There's space for everybody to jump in. And I tell you, Makiba, there's enough work for everybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we, we certainly don't have to compete with each other. We should try to find ways to work together to unite because we know that when we're like this, we're separated. But when we ball our hands up like this, we can be a yeah. mighty fist. That's right. That's, That's exactly right. right. That's right. That's right. Well, Makiba, you have any any parting words? I don't. I'm just looking forward um, to seeing, you know, these strong women, you know, here at the conference. Um, like I said, you can go to isherphilosophy.org slash I am to get your tickets. I know that um, it's going to be very fulfilling and we're looking to have a blessed time. Thank you, Sheree. She said, no competition, all collaboration. That's what it's all about. And you're right. definitely going to find that inclusivity, that collaboration, that sisterhood at It's Her uh, Women's Conference. You can go to itsherphilosophy.org slash I am, find more information. Go ahead and get registered. Again, that date is July 16th at the Hilton Jackson on County Line. Be inspired by all the wonderful speakers. Get an opportunity to meet uh, Miss Makiba White Cheney. Uh, you want her a part of your tribe. You definitely <laughs> want her a part of your tribe as uh, we work together to get you to where you want to be. So, uh, Miss Cheney, thank you so much for the opportunity to to meet you and talk with you. Uh, I will unfortunately be out of town during that weekend. But I certainly wanted to be engaged in this way. And I look forward to, you know, engaging with you in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, Representative Summers. You have a great day. Thank you. And if anybody needs me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can email me at electsummers at gmail.com. We are here working on your behalf. Everybody have a good evening. Y'all be blessed. And we'll see you July 16th. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.